Good morning and welcome to my backyard. Today I wanted to show you one of the butterfly enclosures. It's an outdoor butterfly enclosure that we have and we use it to protect the monarch caterpillars because believe it or not, caterpillars are the low end of the totem pole on the food chain and they get eaten by a lot of different things. And the reason I don't have many um, caterpillars or chrysalises for that matter in the enclosure but the unique thing that I do have today is I have um, a caterpillar so I'm gonna come in see if I can actually film this I have a butterfly that is just emerging from its chrysalis and it just came out and you can see that its wings are still all wrinkled up and that's because they are folded and um, scrunched up if you will inside their chrysalis and when they emerge then what they do is they pump the blood and fluid to them which elongates them and then they dry and so this is what a, chrys um, a monarch butterfly looks like when it just emerges from its chrysalis and I have another one that emerged earlier not too much earlier but a little bit earlier and it's hanging and its leaves its leaves <laughs> its wings are drying nicely and it's going to take about a couple of hours for the wings to dry and harden up before they can actually fly and they'll hang like this for a couple of hours before they even really start to test their wings and then you can see in the back there I have a chrysalis, a green chrysalis that is one of the um, monarch butterflies chrysalis. And then I also have a caterpillar here that is called a J-hanger. And it is right in, right there. I don't think it's focusing in on it very well. And they create a silk little button they spin it actually so I'm gonna come from the top and see we can see things a little bit better there we go there's the caterpillar and you can see the white silk that he's hanging from and he will actually create his outside skin Oops, will shed and he will create and emerge a chrysalis. So there's a beautiful monarch butterfly. And then over here is, is a chrysalis that you can tell it's got some dark wings that are showing and it's going to be emerging, I would say, in the next day or so. Come back over here to the J hanger. Uh, doesn't want to focus. There it goes. Doesn't want to focus in on that. So anyway, I did want to share what I do. I think since April, <clears throat> I do keep statistics. And since April, we have released 65 monarch butterflies um, out into the world and have been very, very happy with that. So, um, just wanted to share with you this morning since I had a unique situation where I had a beautiful butterfly. See, his wings are, are extending, which is great. A butterfly that just emerged, one that has emerged and its wings are drying. A J-hanger ready to create a chrysalis, and then of course we have a couple more chrysalises in this enclosure. So the monarch butterfly has recently been set um, and called endangered because of the population decline. And throughout this um, video, videos that I share with you, I'm going to show you all the different kinds of milkweed that we have in our yard, which are the host plants to these beautiful, beautiful butterflies. So anyway, Thanks for joining me 
on this morning's share. And I hope you have a great day.